Hi everyone, this is Chris Stewart here, the founder of Shared Bits. I'm here today to show you guys our Oracle application, Crystal Bowl, that we just released on the Umbrella platform. So I'm going to do a walkthrough for you guys about publishing an Oracle announcement and then following up with actions of how to publish attestations when um, the event actually occurs. The example that I'm going to do today is a National Football League game here in the United States. Uh, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Philadelphia Eagles occurring on October 14th. Okay, so let's uh, open up Crystal Bowl first. Uh, so I have installed Crystal Bowl already on my umbrella. Uh, if you haven't installed it yet, you can go obtain it from the App Store. Uh, you may need to update your umbrella uh, to the latest platform release because that's what actually inc included Crystal Bowl. Uh, okay, so I'm going to open up. Crystal Bowl here. Um, so looks like everything started okay. Um, when you open up Crystal Bowl for the first time, the very first thing you should do is set an Oracle name. I've already done this. Uh, I called my Oracle Chris Stewart 5 uh, Umbrel. Um, you should, this, this name will be shared on the Oracle Explorer if you choose to widely publish your announcements. So, you know, take that into account if you want to um, re remain anonymous or if you want to build a reputation. Um, you know, use your real name. Uh, okay, so down here in the table, I've already created a few announcements here. Uh, I created one announcement that was uh, an earlier run of this uh, video attempt, so Tampa Bay versus Philadelphia. Um, also, I have an older announcement that I published around Blue Sky, which is the open source Twitter, whether they'll publish source code by the end of the year. Um, so let's uh, go through the process of creating an announcement. So what I'm going to do with this is just uh, replicate the Tampa Bay Philadelphia example here. So let's type in the name Tampa Bay versus Philadelphia. Um, the maturation time. Uh, so the game occurs on Thursday, October 14th. So we should know the outcome of the game by October 15th. And then the final thing we need to do is enter in the possible outcomes. So the possible outcomes would be Tampa Bay winning, Philadelphia winning, a tie game, or other. And the other case here is very important to think about. Um, what this case represents is unforeseen circumstances happening that, say, cause the cancellation of the game. And an example of this is COVID-19 happening or you know, so something like that uh, where the, the game would totally get canceled. So uh, let's create the announcement now and you can see our table gets updated here. Um, you can see there's a difference between these two announcements uh, and this one. Uh, this announcement that I just created hasn't been broadcasted to the Oracle Explorer yet, whereas these two have. So let's just view these other announcements on the Oracle Explorer. And the purpose for publishing these things to the Oracle Explorer is so the DLC users that want to do bets based on, say, the Tampa Bay Philadelphia game can find your Oracle and uh, use this announcement hex here to build Bitcoin bets uh, in their DLC wallet. So it's very important. Uh, you know, you don't have to use the Oracle Explorer if you don't want to, but uh, Oracle, or sorry, DLC users need to have a way to find your Oracle information. So there's other people that post this stuff on Twitter. Um, you can share it on, you know, Signal, um, any sort of medium. We just thought, uh, you know, this is a useful tool to get us off the ground and start building kind of reputation tools around Oracles as well. So that's the announcement flow here. Uh, the next thing you need to do after um, the event occurs so after the Tampa Bay and Philadelphia football game's over, is you need to attest to the outcome. So I'm not going to do this yet because the game actually hasn't happened, but I want to walk you guys through of what this kind of looks like. So you can see uh, over here we have the name of the announcement. The outcomes are kind of grayed out here. So it could be Tampa Bay that wins. It could be Philadelphia that wins. It could be a tie game. It could be other, like I was just saying. Um, let's just say hypothetically Tampa Bay won. Uh, you would type in Tampa Bay here, and then you would click Sign Outcome. So uh, after uh, th this means that you've cryptographically attested uh, that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won this football game. And what people will do, what DLC users will do using these signatures or attestments is plug these attestments into their wallet, and this will allow them to unlock or decrypt 
a Bitcoin transaction that uh, allocates money to them based on uh, the, the kind of contract that they had set up. So the important thing the Oracle is doing here is giving these attestments so that users can uh, settle their bets. Um, if we did a test to an outcome here, it would pop up over here. And you would also have the option of publishing your attestations to the Oracle Explorer. So you can see here, uh, right now, there is no attestations because the event hasn't occurred. Um, but with Crystal Bowl, you can automatically publish those attestations just like you can publish announcements uh, to, the, to the Oracle Explorer so people can go and settle their Bitcoin bets. Uh, just other uh, notes, I guess, uh, interesting things. We have a configuration tab here. Uh, with this release of the Umbrel, uh, or Crystal Bowl on Umbrel, we decided to default posting announcements to the test Oracle Explorer. Uh, we did this because we figure people are going to be fooling around and testing things out, and maybe not actually attesting to outcomes after the event occurs. Um, and that's fine and good on the test Oracle Explorer. But if you're posting things to the Production Explorer, you should uh, make sure that you're following up with truthworthy um, attestations and publishing them so people can settle their bets. Another feature we have built in here is Tor support. Um, if you want your Oracle to be anonymous, uh, use Tor. Uh, that should mask your network activity. Uh, if you do care about that kind of thing, you probably shouldn't put your name in the uh, uh, Oracle, uh, you know, the Oracle name either. You know, use something that uh, can't be attributed to you. And uh, that's kind of the first walkthrough here of Crystal Bull on Umbrel. Uh, we're going to be working hard in the coming weeks to bring our full-fledged DLC wallet over to the Umbrel platform as well, so you can enter into uh, Bitcoin settled bets uh, directly on the Bitcoin blockchain using your Umbrel uh, node as well. Um, so, uh, you know, stay tight and uh, let us know if you guys have any questions about this stuff. We know we've been working hard in the back uh, round to get this shipped and we're going to continue working hard to uh, bring more DLC applications to Umbrel. Uh, on a final note, uh, the coolest feature of Crystal Bowl is 